Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. Welcome back to Stitchy Friends. Stitchy Friends. <laughs> I'm Sarah. And I'm Jen. And this is floss tube number 13. And today's date is March 18th. So welcome back if you're coming back to see us. And welcome if you're new here. Um, this is a channel where we talk about our cross stitch. So yes. hopefully um, you enjoy what you see today. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. All right. Personal update. It's been a little while since we've been here. Yes. So what what have we been doing lately? Oh, well, there's been a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, just a lot going on. Um, we have had a couple fun stitchy events. Um, we had an event where Sarah and I and then a couple stitchy friends that we met at some retreats all met at Keepsakes, which is our local LNS store. And just had a fun stitch day. It was awesome. It was great. We had yeah. a really good time. We stitched with our friends Kim and Allison. And we got to see uh, Stephanie there. And Barbara. And Barbara, the shop owner. And we just had a good old time. We had a great time. It was really fun. <laughs> so that was awesome. And then we did another pop-up retreat. We did another pop-up retreat. Yes. Yeah, so I had a birthday, uh, March 13th, last Sunday. And my husband and my son actually went out of town. And so uh, it was just my daughter and I. And so it was a perfect opportunity to have some friends over. And um, so we had some of the same ladies came, Kim and Allison, and then Allison's mom, Kathy, who was also at one of the retreats we met. Mm -hmm. Lovely lady. Fabulous. Wonderful stitcher. Fabulous stitcher. Fabulous yes. stitcher. She's very humble about her stitching and she's fabulous fabulous things mm -hmm. um and then karen yes came, we met her at a retreat we met her at a retreat and um and then milka our friend came milka mega she, stitches on instagram and floss tube yes and she drove a couple hours to come so that was really nice thank you so much for coming milka and we had a great time we just stitched all day and had a bunch of food sarah had a birthday cake for me and um, it was really fun. It was a great way to spend my birthday. And it, I couldn't have had a better day. And you awesome. hosted a wonderful event on your own birthday. Well, it was that, <laughs> it was fun. That's, it was awesome. It was. That's That was my birthday present. It's just to, you know, spend it with friends and have a great day. So it That was, sounds awesome. That's a great birthday. Yeah. To be with your friends and just stitch all day long. I know. I know. It was really. And eat. And that's and all we did. We ate a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of food. It was good. Yeah, can't complain. We had a great time. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so you, yeah. your daughter has a birthday coming up this weekend, so you're busy with that. Yes, my daughter's birthday is Sunday, so we're one week apart, and her birthday is actually the first day of spring, which actually is Liz Matthews' birthday. I didn't know that. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, just because she had mentioned. Oh, that's right. She it was the first day it. of spring, and I and I knew my daughter's was. So, um, so yeah, I've been busy. Um, I was making a cake real quick before I came over here. She, her favorite thing is an ice cream cake. So I was frantically trying to put that together. It keeps, takes a couple of days to make. So I, I had to get on it. And, um, and so, yeah, we just had a lot of stuff. Uh, softball started, hockey ended and hockey starts again. And so it's been busy. 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 It's been busy. Yeah. Well, my spring break is coming up soon, so I cannot wait. I can't wait either. We're in the midst of testing season, oh. so we start state testing next week, That's and we'll finish fun. it up after spring break. So this is my ho a whole week of teaching <laughs> look. It's been raining and you outside. Field trip I'm too. yeah, we went on a field trip yeah. yesterday. I'm exhausted. So I ex excuse how I look today, but you're not here to see how I look. You're here to see our stitching. So. Yes. So yes, yes. Um, before we get into anything, I just kind of wanted to address something personally. Um, so on our last video, we had a couple of comments and um, and I'm not gonna tell you what they said because I deleted them, but um, you know, and I, I think it stems from the fact that I have kind of a dry sense of humor and I tend to be very sarcastic and I love to tease Jen because she's my best friend and um, and if you don't know us that well, it might not come across that way. And so I wanted to own that. And and I just wanted you guys to know that Jen is my best friend. Yes. I love her. And if I tease her, it's out it's out of fun. I don't It's not a malicious. No, never. Thing. Never. Yeah, and so, you know, if I came across that way, I apologize. Um, you know, that's not what we're about. And 
We don't compete with each other. We love we, stitching all the same things. We do. We have very we have very similar taste and um and so we we do. We we buy a lot of the same stuff and stitch a lot of the same stuff and we don't have competitions. We no. we joke with each other, but really we're you know, we enjoy doing the same things because it's nice to talk about it. And Well, I mean, what better thing than to have progress. a friend who loves to stitch all the yeah. same things you like to stitch? Yeah, it's fun. So, I, you know, I just tease her. And so, you know, I'm sorry if it came across as rude or, um, you know, unkind. I would never be unkind to Jen. No, she's, she's my best friend. friend. She's so, a good friend. She's um, a good friend. But, and, and one thing I love about the Stitchy community, and we've talked about this before, is just how kind and accepting everybody is. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little taken aback at, at a couple of the comments that we received. Um, I would urge you guys, like, you know, we're all, we're, we're people, you're real people, you know, we all have our flaws, but I would, I would encourage you, like, you know, if you have a concern, message one of us, you know, Absolutely. talk to us. And, and, you know, like I said, if I come across that way, I apologize. And I would love for you to bring it to my attention you know, if, if that's the way we come across, because we don't want, I don't want to come across that way, um, you know, yeah. but at the same time, you know, maybe just talk to us, you know, privately instead of leaving a rude comment, you know, it's just, it's not a nice thing to do, okay? You don't have to love us, you know, that's okay, but, you know, I feel like we can all be respectful of each other, so that's all I would ask is that, you know, if you have a concern, just talk to us and, and, be respectful. And if you don't like our channel, that's okay. We might not be for everybody and that's fine. That doesn't hurt our feelings. So that's all I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> She's a good egg. She's good. I try. I try. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right. Let's start off with finishes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. We have finishes. We actually have different finishes, which is amazing. Oh, some of, the same. One of them's the same. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but we do have some different finishes, yes. which is a new thing. Do you want, let's show our ones that aren't the same first, and okay. then we'll show the one that is the okay. same. Do you want to do that? Do you yeah, want to start? Sure. sure. Well, I, I should say I don't have, mine are not all finished. They are finished stitching, but they are not like complete FFOs. So, oh, and I, I didn't, I didn't get the pattern out. This, That's okay. This is from um, Primrose. What is it? Primrose Cottage yes. Stitches? Yes. Primrose what it's called? Cottage Stitches. Thank you for saying that. Um. And I am so sorry. I cannot think of the title. I thought I got that out and I didn't. Well, we can put it in the uh, notes. Oh, in the show okay. Notes, so. Thank you. Yes. I'm sorry. I was trying to get all my stuff together. So um, it's a little late. Obviously, it's a Valentine's Day stitch, but it was fun. I was just trying to get some um, some small stuff done. So I, I love it on that, that pink fabric. Yeah, it's really cute. It's and then so should pretty. I show this one? Yes. Okay. Yes. So here's another one. This is, and no, this is not completely finished either. It's Sarah, close. Yeah. Sarah and I, this is a very, First thing I've ever sewn. I've never used a sewing machine. So we were at Sarah's and we finished little pillows and I didn't get mine completely finished. But this is, I have to I have to do the bottom. Um, but this is uh, by by Brenda Gervais and it's Holiday Hoopla and it's Valentine's Day. I love it. Um, it's really cute, I know. And it was easy, it was fun. I actually did this the Steel City Stitchers weekend. Um, the Steel City Stitchers Retreat weekend. So it was mm -hmm. a fun memory and um, um, and so Holiday Hoopla is a whole series, and she actually finished all of them in a hoop. I think that's hence the name. Um, but I wanted to do a little pillow, so uh, I just, I'm going to finish it and then put, like, some rickrack around it. So I haven't gotten to the hand sewing part. Did you show the back of it? Oh, I didn't. So Sarah and I went to uh, Hobby Lobby and Joann's, and then um, I'm going to put white rickrack around it. And um, picked out a bunch of Valentine's Day fabrics mm -hmm. and, you know, just some stuff to have on hand to do some finishing with. And um, so yeah. we had a lot of fun. So it was, it took a long time to sew that little pillow, I will tell you. <laughs> it took like A ridiculously hours. long time. Yes. But I was really proud that we actually did it. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, here's my pillow that I made. And this was um, something, I think I showed you guys the finish last time, but here's my fully finished object. So this is a pattern called Jack and Maggie from um, Crochetta Go Go. Love it. I love it on that pink fabric. I did um, put a little charmy on here. My mom um, gave this to me in one of my bags from the Painted Leaf Company. It says made with love. So I thought I'd just attach it to my pillow there. I use the same backing fabric as Jen. Now, I have a question for you guys. I'm having, yeah. I'm having a dilemma. So when we first made these, 
I stuffed this thing like to capacity. It was full. Yeah. And I just didn't like the way it looked because I felt like some of my stitching disappeared, you know, because it was so rounded. And so um, I, oh gosh, don't look at that. <laughs> Well, you I'm, had to I'm not a good hand sewer. I did rip it back open. Yeah. I took a bunch of the stuffing out, the polyfill, and um, I did put some walnuts, uh, wal walnut shells, crushed walnut mm -hmm. shells in there, and I stitched it back up. My hand sewing is atrocious. That's okay. Um, but you now I feel like now I feel like it's too soft. Soft. And like, I feel like I can feel right here, like um, there's like a concentration of walnut shells. Mm -hmm. And I, even though I try to like move them around, I feel like they just stay in one place. So what should I do? Should I just leave it and deal with it? Should I rip it back open and stuff more polyfill in it? Should I stuff more walnut shells? Any other suggestions I would love to hear? Uh, Cause I feel like it's just a little squishy. And I yeah, would like it to I, be a little more firm. Yeah. Without being too rounded. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And I am going to put some rickrack around just to hide my awful hand stitching at the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. I just it's would like adorable. to have... I, I would like so, mm. I would like a happy medium between the too stuffed and the not stuffed yeah. enough. So. Yes. Otherwise, I love it. I love, I love patterns with animals on them. Yeah. All right. Thank and then... You. We have, you have a finish. I have a fully finished. Right, I didn't fully finish. Sarah was wanted me to come over, and I was too tired to finish it. And so she finished it without me. I couldn't wait. I know. So. Okay, Show yours ready? first. Okay, so this was a pattern. I actually uh, bought this pattern at the Steel City Sisters Retreat. And then Sarah had to have it because oh. she loved it. And yes. So, but I love this. We both. We both have a puppy. Oh, is that backwards for people? I don't know how to do I don't do know. That. I hope not. Um, okay. Can... So it says there's probably dog hair on this. And I don't know how that looks. I don't know how to do that. Um, and um, and actually, I part of why I stitched this, this was a um, fabric of the month for January for Be Stitch Me. And then... Was, the, no, wasn't that... Um, oh, was that Fiberlicious, I think? Wasn't that the oh, Periwinkle? Oh, you know what? It was Fiberlicious. I'm sorry. It was okay. it was the January Fiberlicious fabric, mm -hmm. Periwinkle. And then I just used... Um, and I don't remember the number. Um, yeah, it was a DMC. It was a DMC. I tried to use a fancy floss, but I, I wanted a brighter pink. I love that color. And um, yeah, so it's really cute. And I'm going to finish it into a pillow. But I also did this because... Um, the Colorado Cross Stitcher, she has something called... Um, Cross Stitch Camp. Yes, and she did it in the summer, which I didn't participate. I saw people posting about it, but I didn't really know what it was. And she did a winter stitch camp, and it was just the month of February. And so you, um, the rules were you had to start your project, start and finish in February, and you could only use one color floss. Mm -hmm. You could choose any pattern, anything you wanted to do. And a lot of people were doing samplers and stuff, and I, I just, I liked this pattern, and so... It worked out well for that. Yeah. So, um, but I didn't win. I guess she gives prizes and stuff. I didn't win. But it was you're a, a really, winner to me. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> but it was really fun. It was fun um, to just participate and see what everybody came up with. And so, yeah. yeah. So, so Sarah stitched the same thing. Yeah, so I stitched the same pattern. It's kind of in the same colorway, but it's more muted. Yeah. More muted than yours. So, here's mine. There's probably dog out. hair so on this, cute. and there's I know for sure there's dog hair in it because yes. I, I purposely left it in there. <laughs> but um, I used a mystery fabric that I got in a mystery bundle from Luminous Fiber oh, Arts. Right. So I don't even know the count. I feel like it's probably like mm -hmm. a, I feel like it's a 32. Yeah. Um, and I don't, obviously I don't know the color name because it wasn't labeled. And the Floss I used actually came in our last Black Needle Society box. Happy hour? Um, yeah, the happy hour, happy stitching. hour stitching. And it was a fancy floss from um, Live and Die in LA. Die, D-Y-E, not the other one. <laughs> and um, it was the color Bordeaux. And I just thought it looked perfect on this fabric. I loved the modeling. And um, if you are not new to our channel, you might know that my dog passed away recently. My dog, Toby, not Daisy. Um, and so I did this kind of like as a memorial to him. I put his name at the bottom, Toby, and I put his dates of his life, 2010 to 2022. And I so, thought that was a really, I thought that was such a sweet idea. Yeah. Toby was a, he was a good puppy. He really was. 
he was the best. And so uh, we got these wolf pins. Um, I believe they're uh, just another button company. Yes. We got those at the Steel City Stitchers Retreat from the Craft EU. And uh, here's the back of my pillow. I so love the I know That's I love so it too. Cool. I got the I got the um, patch on Amazon. The reason it's got a patch on the back is because since I hate my hand stitching, <laughs> I decided to go ahead and stitch this all the way around. Um, but before I did that, I cut an X in the back of this fabric so that I could turn it inside out after I stitched both of the right sides together. And then I stuffed it and I put the patch over it to obviously hide the X and make sure nothing falls out. So I think the patch is so cute though. I it's like perfect it. for that pillow. Yeah. You know? So um it's a nice little addition. Oh, sorry. So uh yeah, so this is in hopeless. this is in memorial of my beautiful puppy Toby. Sorry for the glare. Um, this was actually a gift that Jen gave us um, after he passed away. It says, um, when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right there in your heart. And that's my handsome boy. And he's smiling because he's at his grandma's house in that picture. And he loves going to his grandma's house. So that's my boy. So thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. And that's my finish. I know. And I, that turned out so cute. I love it. It looks great. There was, there was a border charted on the top and the bottom, but we decided that it, it wasn't really necessary since we were turning it into a pillow. So oh, we, we had all out. the pins. That were right. I thought it might too. be a little too busy. Yeah. So I think it turned out beautiful. Yeah. And the pattern, it's from the um, Scarlet, oh, Scarlet House. Scarlet House. Yes. And there's um, also one that says there's probably cat hair on this. So if you're a cat lover, yeah. you're in luck. And it's so. the same pattern, so they give you both yeah. versions, so you don't have to buy two different patterns. But right. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Absolutely. That. Yeah. All right, so that's yeah. that's all I've got for, well, no, I'm lying. I have a finish. Oh, you do? Did I not know about this? Well, I texted you yesterday, but I don't know. If oh, you no, I do know okay. about this. I, okay, I think I'm going to hold off until we do whips, because okay. it, it yeah. goes along with my whips. Okay, so, perfect. How about we talk about whips, works okay. in progress. What have yes. you been stitching, Jen? Okay, well, uh, I've been stitching a little bit. It's been busy, so I haven't stitched a ton. But, oh, and I didn't take this out of the wrapper. Sorry. It's okay. This is by Luminous Fiber Arts, and it is um, a Bluebird's Message. And she has a, a series of these. She actually had a new release at market this year. It was um, Thankful. It's a, a turkey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. cute. I didn't buy it, but it's really cute. You're and killing so, it with the Valentine's Day. I know. I, you know, I don't know why, but I just really got into the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, and you got your weenie dog there I from do. uh, Caterpillar yeah. Cross Stitch. So this is just uh, cream and sugar by Fiber on a Whim on uh, 36 count. Mm -hmm. I think the pattern, actually, they're all done on 40 count, but... Um, I did it on 36 count, and so I'm making progress. I like it on that cream and sugar. Yeah, I do too. It's I love cream and sugar. It's a very nice yes. um, neutral color. Wow, right. look at how crooked that looks. I hope that is not crooked. <laughs> it's not. It's look not. at that. Can you see how crooked that looks? It's yeah, not. I, hope, I guess... Hopefully it's just the way it's stretched. That's uh, not yeah. gonna be fun if that's all. It's I all it's all wacky from being in your hoop. Uh, okay, so also I think most of you know I'm because um, I talk about it all the time, but I'm in the Lindy Stitches Bird Crush Club, and so this was the Bird Crush um, Club. It's a hummingbird, and so it's a broad broad build hummingbird, and she's using these frames. They're called Signed and Numbered. The name of the Etsy shop is Signed and Numbered, and um, they hand make them. Um, so when you order it, it, it takes off because they actually make it and they have, I don't know, 15 different colors you can get. And so um, all the series is being framed in those. So here is my progress. I'm almost finished. I was hoping to finish last night, but I didn't get to it. I know it's one of my favorites. It's my favorite so far. That yes. blue. It I love that. Yeah. So with the Bird Crush Club, you get the pattern and a fancy floss. And this was the fancy floss. And you know what? I... I'm forgetting what that's called. I told you that. Oh, do you have it with you? Do you want to? I do. Yeah, pull I it out. It's, is it? What is this fabric you're using? Is this the yes, call for? Yes, it is. It is. Um, and it's you know, gorgeous. I'm so unprepared. Um, I, it's on uh, Lindy Stitch's website. So every month she posts the fabric. And it's so popular that she also posts other versions of the fabric that are all similar. Mm. This is a 
you know what? We will put it in the, um, I took all my stuff out just trying to get over here. And so <laughs> I, I forgot about writing that down, but yeah. we'll put it in the notes what it sure. is. It's a be I love this. It's like a light green color. So it's a it. beautiful color. And, and then, the blue just pops on it. Yes. And so this was kind of interesting because um, she said she just stitched it like a little here and a little there because it's a variegated floss and she didn't want it to be stripey. Mm. And so, of course, I started doing that and then, you know, didn't do the border and didn't count and then was way over here and had to rip it all out <laughs> and restart. And But I like how it ended up mm -hmm. um, looking. So, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite for Crush Club patterns so far yeah there's only been three so it's gorgeous yeah so we'll we'll put that on the mm -hmm. thing sorry i'm not prepared yeah i'm gonna um, write myself a note about that okay good um and then this one i start i wanted to do a birthday start um but i realized that it's really not great to do a birthday start um if you're actually <laughs> at an event with people because i i could not focus um but this is this is a new release. I, I guess I'm jumping ahead to market stuff a little bit. No, but this it. was by um, Kathy Barrick, and it's Bluebird, Bluebird in a cherry tree, right? Bluebird in a cherry tree. Yes. Now I I am just doing the pillow. Um, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. So I'm just doing the pillow, and this is um, forty count. So I've stepped into the large. Or small count. Smaller arena. count, yeah. I know. So, um, <laughs> oh, and this little needle minder Sarah got me for my birthday. Very cute. Um, so this is 40 count silver fox. And you can see how much I started. <laughs> I actually ended up switch. Oh, thank you. I actually ended up switching projects after like two hours. Of, yeah. You know, it was just too hard to. It's just not a good idea to start something when you're with you a bunch of people. And, you tried. Yeah, so it will be my birthday start. but um, And it's all silks. So that's kind of new. I haven't used silks. And I did learn that you want to use shorter pieces of silk rather than like long DMC pieces because it ripped or it broke. Mm -hmm. And then it was getting very tangled. And um, so if you haven't used silk, just remember that when you use it or you'll... Are those MPI silks or are they Gloriana's? Yes, I'm sorry. No, they're MPI. Okay. They're MPI. Um, okay. And then I just have two more. So um, this is another one. I don't think I showed this and I haven't finished it. Again, it's the Valentine's Day theme. These, we haven't been on here in so long. Um, another one by Luminous Fiber Arts and is... Uh, my heart is yours, and it actually was sold as a kit. I, when I went to go buy it, it was sold out. So I just got some fabric. Yeah, that's a that's a popular one. Yeah, this is just thirty two count um, blush by Weeks Dye Works, and the thread is the called for. Oh no, this is a um, Belsois. This is oh. Belsois cranberry is Ooh. the thread. Um, so you can use a Belsois or you can use a DMC. So, I think it says bell saw. Um, and the bell saw that those fibers are like like a little more. Um, they're like really soft. Soft, and they're a little more voluminous than. Yes, like, good word. Yes, definitely. I haven't used them yet. I I need. They're to. really lovely to use. So, um, Luminous Fiber Arts has another series called the Gathering series, um, That's right. and all of those she recommends using the um, bell saw fab or bell saw fibers and um that's how I started using them and I really love to stitch with them they're really nice and they're very um like bright they're very yeah. um rich the colors mm, are rich yeah that's a good so, good word to describe it so last time I mentioned something this is my last one um I am starting something it's by Kathy Barrick this is not a new release um and I'm doing it with my friend Kim and sorry I didn't take it out but it's Nottingham um and I mentioned it so this is probably the largest uh definitely <laughs> yeah smallest count piece i've started um so this is on 40 count so kim and i are going to do a section uh we're just going to section off different things and do it every month um we haven't we haven't done that great we're supposed to finish something by the end of february and do march but we've both been kind of busy so the first thing we were doing was the center and I actually, oops, it's upside down here. Um, so I just got started. So this is 40 count um, cream and sugar. And um, and this is a needle minder from Mad for Minders. Yes. And Sarah got me this for my, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. For Christmas, yeah. Um, so actually I did this when we had our... Um, Keepsakes, right? Yes. And um, Allison at Keepsakes was helping me chart 
where to put my initials. So she has, Kathy has her initials in here. And so I'm putting my initials. Uh, so my name is Jen and then my last name, which is Nasca, and then my husband's name, which is Jim. So we're, so I did J and J. And then I'm going to put our wedding anniversary date oh, on there. Great. Yeah. So um, we are going to be married for um, 29 years in August, August 14th. I didn't know your anniversary was in August. Yeah, Mine's August, August 11th. Oh, well, we're just a couple days apart. Huh, what do you know? <laughs> Learn something uh, new every this day, This will be our right? 15th, yeah. Your 15th, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so, yeah, and Kim is going to do the same thing, and she is going to celebrate her 30th wedding anniversary in September, I think. Oh, wow. You've yeah, got September or October. So we're, we're right around the same and time And what are you frame. stitching it with? Oh, right. I was going <laughs> to share that. I'm sorry. So I'm stitching it with something I've never stitched with before. It's called Gloriana. And they are silks. And they come all wrapped like this. They're very nice. Um, they actually have multiple knots. So it's it's a little challenging getting it undone. Mm -hmm. um, but they're beautiful. They're they're really pretty colors. And they're beautiful to stitch with. Now, you don't have to use Gloriana. They, they are quite expensive. I I mean, it's a special project, so that's why I kind of yeah. got all the Glorianas. Um, but, um, you know, you can use DMC. She has conversion for, for all of that. Um, and then I guess what I'm, I'm learning is that you don't want to wrap your silks um, like on a, a card. Um, I think some people maybe wrap it on a larger card or they do like a thread drop. Hmm. Is that right? A thread yeah. drop? Um, I'm just using these little floss away bags. Um, I had some from my needle pointing days, but I know that like our local needle point store keepsake sells these and I know you can order them on Etsy or whatnot. So, mm -hmm. um, but if you guys have any suggestions of how you like store your silks, I have some MPIs that I'm using for another, pro uh, MPI is a silk that I'm using for another project. And I'm just going to do the same thing in these little floss bags. And well, they especially just... for something like that, that's so fragile and yeah. so expensive you you want to keep it nice you don't want it getting tangled right or um you know whatever frayed so I think the floss away bags are actually a good idea yeah I see a lot of people put theirs like on a ring yes I I had a ring it's I, not as pretty as floss drops it's but, not but um but yeah and I realized I'm gonna need to write on it because I have a couple color, like a gold and then a yellow mm -hmm. and I reached to use the yellow that was a gold and I'm like I need to write these down because then I'm gonna end up using the wrong yeah. colors so you don't want to do that especially no. with such expensive silks. I know I know okay I'm sorry I took forever on all of that but that's it that's all my stuff well it's all been my a while whips. since we've been here I so. know I know not to so. show yeah, um, but you've got a lot. So I have been doing the uh, March Stitchy Madness that's hosted by the Steel City yes. Stitchers. And so I made my bracket. And um, a lot of people will do uh, four whips and four new starts. I decided I'm going all whips because uh, I have too many new starts. So I would like to get some things finished. So I chose some things that were kind of smaller or things that were closer to a finish so I can make some progress and finish something. So um, I won't read the whole bracket to you, but here's my bracket and my, I'm gonna save the big winner for last. Oh yeah, right, right. <laughs> I was gonna start with that, but I'm not going to. Okay. So um, in my first round, and I love all these projects. So I mean, you know, there was no, you couldn't go wrong with any of these. In the first round, also my poor Tudor Ermine lost out. Um, I love this pattern. It's by the Blue Flower. It was um, released Oops. back in November, I think. I was trying to take a drink behind that. Oh, sorry. Behind that thing. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Busted. And uh, so this is the progress I've made on Tudor Ehrman. Um, and that's on 40 count? It's on 40 count, and I don't remember. I don't remember what color or who made it. So if I remember, I'll put that in the show notes. So got a little progress on Tudor Ehrman. open? It might, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. All right. And then next in the rotation, um, I had the autumnal sampler. This was also released. Uh, it was released for the August um, Needlework Expo by Little Robin Designs. I absolutely love this pattern. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Got the little black cat down there. So um, I actually dyed this fabric because I wanted a specific look. I wanted it to look 
sorry, I don't want my needle to fall out here. I wanted it to look like a stormy fall night. And so here's the fabric that I dyed. I believe this is a 32 count. And that's what I've got. So, so really all I need to do is finish the tree and put that house in and the little pumpkins and the cat and I'm done. So I do wanna get this back out really soon cause it won't take me long to finish. You can have a lot of finishes all at once. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. All right, so that was next. And that one also lost in the first round, but that's okay. I'm gonna come back to it. All these I'm gonna come back to cause I love them. And uh, so this one's a bigger project, but I, I'm more than halfway done. So this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along um, Cozy Cafe. The Stitch Along is over now, so I am behind. And, um, and you can see there's all these cute little drinks. And it's just like a little cafe menu. You've probably seen that pattern before. So here's where I'm at. You're doing good. I, I know. haven't even started mine. Yeah, so I've got... The majority of the drinks on there, I'm I'm missing three and I'm like halfway through this one down here. So it really, these drinks don't take me too long. I just need to sit down and crank it out. So it wouldn't take me too long to finish. I would like to finish this one soon because I hate being behind on my stitch alarms. I know, but I know. Sarah's really good about that. I, think I usually am. I'm behind on every single stitch alarm I've ever signed up for. I guess I haven't finished any, so... I will. I will. Yeah, I will. Eventually. All right. Another one that was on my bracket that lost out in the first round is the Blue Flower Winter Blooms. Winter Blooms, plural, sorry. Uh, this was also a new release back in November, I think. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. right before Christmas. I love this one. I love the colors. And um, that's a pretty fabric. Oh, I forgot to mention this, this fabric for the Cozy Cafe came in the kit. It's a picture of this plus. I don't remember the color. It's a 28 uh, count, but. It was, it came with the kit, so I purchased it all together. Now this. That's a very pretty fabric. I know. Do you remember what that is? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> hmm, I feel like it's Silver Fox. No, it's oh. Pearl. No, it's <gasps> it's Pearl from Mystic oh, Fibers. I bought that. I Mystic bought fabric, that color. Mystic Fabrics. Mystic Fabrics, yes. Pearl from Mystic Fabrics. So that's what I've got. Just got a little a start. start yeah. It. Yeah. So, I'm, and it's did a you, 40 count. Did you just start that at the, at the with the bracket? No, the I had started it before, but I had just a teeny tiny start. So, and oh. of course, I only got to work on it. Oh, yeah. That my, needle binder is adorable. I got I that from Mad Reminders on Etsy. That is so cute. Yeah, and I only got to work on this project one day, so that's why there's not a whole lot of progress. Because I, I stitched on... So for my bracket, like I stitched on the first project the first day, I stitched on the second project the second day, and then I put up a poll on my Instagram and whatever one moved forward. So uh, these first four patterns are um, projects I only worked on for one day. So you'll start to see a little more progress as we go along. So for round two, I stitched on another blue flower. If you're new here, my favorite designer is the blue flower. Surprise. <laughs> this one is called Acorns. I absolutely love it. I love all the little squirrels in there. And um, yeah, I'm making some progress on this one. Yeah, you are. Look at that. Yes. It's beautiful on that fabric. Just yes. That I bought brightness. this fabric when we were at StitchCon. Yeah. I don't remember what it is. If you want to know what fabric I'm using, just ask in the comments and I'll answer. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, but I do believe it is a 30... I think it's a 32 count, but that's what I've got. I love it. It's so cute. I love those little squirrels in the letters and their little acorns. Really cute. It's a perfect fabric for that. I know. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep. that's I Yeah, I bought the pattern and the fabric at StitchCon, so perfect. Okay, so next I... Oops, sorry. Next, I worked on That's a Christmas so project called Santa's Trips oh, by Barbara Anna Designs. I love this project. I love it. Those colors. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I believe this one's on Oaken. No. No. This is Mountaineer Fabrics. It's yes. uh, Egyptian Sand. Yes. Sorry. I do remember that, and it's a 40 count, so that's where I'm at. I love the colors of the berries and the border. The border is taking a little bit of time, but it's not, it's not like tedious. I don't, I'm not bothered by the border, 
So as you can see, I, I did finish the top three like little vignettes there, but now I'm going around and finishing the border and finishing up the little boxes and then I'll go back in and fill them in. So I'm making good progress on that too. You're making great progress. Definitely want to have that one done before Christmas. I love this pattern. I have, I have that pattern as well, but I haven't even started. Well, Christmas is a ways off. You have time. Yeah. All right. And so then uh, in the third round or the final round of my bracket, um, I had Love is Patient by Artful Offerings. I love this one. I think this is a newer pattern. Yeah, that, well, it's a 2021. Yeah. Okay. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, what, but well, that just, wasn't too long ago. Just at the, <laughs> yeah, right. Just at the end of 2021. Yeah. Though. So Love is Patient. Love is Kind. Those little bunnies putting the hearts on top of the eyes. I did change. Well, I changed a couple of things. Um, first of all, I changed this color here that's on the um, border and like under the bunnies. It called for um, Fire uh, by uh, Weeks Dye Works, sorry. Um, but since I'm stitching it on a like pink fabric, um, the fire was a little too orangey. So I did change it to a DMC and I don't remember what color, but I can put that in the show notes as well. So that's that. Oh, this is so cute. I love this pattern. I'm so close to a finish. I love it. So this is a very pale pink um, fabric. It does have some sparkle. I'm sure that you can't see that. Um, but there we are. I did change. You'll notice in the pattern, the eyes are capital eyes. I thought it was weird that the bunnies were putting like the hearts as like the dots of the eyes. So I just made them lowercase eyes. I think that that made more sense to me. I like that. I'm sure most people wouldn't even notice that. But yeah, I've got all the bunnies stitched. I just really need to um, finish up the border and I've got a couple more hearts to put in there. So there's that. Very cute. And then the big winner of my whole bracket, the one that made it all the way through was, da 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 da, another blue flower. It's the Tudor Bee. Look how regal. I started this at StitchCon. It was my first 40 count project and it was my first project stitching in hand. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah, so it our was. friend Deb that we met at StitchCon, yeah. she was stitching in hand and I was like, you got to show me how to do that. So she and I made a deal. I would stitch this project in hand if she would um, fully finish one of her projects. Oh, that's right. And she did. She held up her end of the deal and Deb, so did I. Oh my God. Here you have it. The Tudor B fully stitched in hand and she is stunning, stunning. So um, I don't know yet how I want to fully finish her. I think I would like to do a pillow, but I'm afraid to do it myself because this project is just so beautiful and special and I don't want to muck it up. So I might see if somebody more experienced than me We'll finish oh. this for me. <laughs> I love the colors. So. It turned out so pretty. Yep. So I have my March so Madness dainty. winner. And it's, yes, dainty is a good yeah. one. Yeah. So there's that. I like all the detail too. I love it. So, yeah, so you actually And I have... stitched this whole thing in DMC. I mean, look at those colors. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all. Sorry, that's dark. That's all DMC right there. So it's beautiful. It is pretty. And this is latte. Oh, okay. 40 count latte. Fiber, fiber on a whim, I think. Fiber. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so that's my whip. So for the rest of March, um, since I'm done done with March Stitchy Madness, I do want to work on my whip go. I have a couple projects I need to work on, but if I finish those up, I'll probably use the rest of March to get back to some of these that I was working on. That's a good idea. So, What's yeah. on your whip go this month? Do you remember? Uh, whip go, I have Moonlight Sampler by the Blue oh, Flower. Oh, the Blue Flower, yes. <laughs> And I have my Owl Forest embroidery, the oh, um, okay. the huge Alice in Wonderland. That was a free oh, pattern. Alice in Wonderland, yes. So, yeah, my goal it's is to stitch thing. five days on each of those. So, um, today's the 18th. I've got, what, 13 days? So, if I can crank those yeah. out 10 days, I'll have three days left to stitch other things. So, that's my plan. You're doing good. I, I, I missed March Madness. I intended on doing it, and I didn't. <laughs> and then um, I have You could do very... April Madness. <laughs> I haven't been very successful with my my whip stuff. Actually, my whip this month or my whip go this month um, was the same thing. I I didn't do twenty five different patterns. I yeah. doubled them up, and so it so did I. 
was the same pattern. So it's Emily's house by Lindy Stitches. Ooh, I love that. Yes, and, I think that's um, on my whip go too. I love that pattern. Yes, and so it is a fun pattern, and um, I'm just starting on that big house. Um, it's like a greenhouse. It's really pretty. So I, I do want to yellow, yellow. The, the house green one is on is the on, on the Christmas pattern. The Emily's. Oh, to oh no, all a good right. Night. To all a good night. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's right. I'm confusing. Those. And I didn't. I, and I don't think I showed you, but I didn't know Emily's house is based on like a real actual house. Oh, I didn't somebody know that posted either. a picture. I think it was Emily from Eclectic Possessions. She posted a picture of the actual. Oh, house. the actual house. Oh, I have to look at that. And I'll, I'll look it up and, and, and yeah. show you. So I was oh, like, I didn't, I didn't know, know that was a real house. And it looks exactly like the pattern. That's or the pattern it. looks exactly like the house. So, yes. I like to hear the history sometimes of, you know, the inspiration for how designers get, yeah. get yeah. their ideas. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is from, from things like that. Right, exactly. So, so um, we have two more, like, segments of the show. And um, we want to talk about our market haul. But I think first we should talk about giveaways. I know not everybody might want to stick around for the market haul because this is getting to be a long video. So we'll do yes. giveaways first. So okay. um, we have a couple of really cool giveaways for you today. Me too. Mm -hmm. So um, the first one uh, comes from Top Knot Stitcher. She may be familiar to you. She has an Instagram account, Top Knot Stitcher. She has an online shop. TopNotStitcher.com, and she has a floss tube, Top Knot Stitcher. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, and her name is Abby, and she reached out um, to floss tubers and said, hey, does somebody want to uh, do a collaboration with me? And I was like, we do, yes, because we love Abby and Top Knot Stitcher. And so here's the giveaway. You, the winner, will receive a $20, um, a $20 gift card, gift card like e-gift card to purchase something from her online shop. And, and she she has I'm sorry I'm No, go it. for it. She has she has a ton of stuff. Ton. Like I've never gotten on there and not found a pattern that I wanted. Um just fabric, supplies. She her shop is a great shop. She's Absolutely. Got a lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah, I actually just bought several things from her shop and she mm -hmm. got things out to me really quickly. Yeah, she's very quick on shipping. She's as well. very good about like if you have a question or um, you know, you need to change something or whatever on your order and you reach out to her, she'll get back to you right away. So she's pretty awesome. We like her. So um, so yeah, if you win the giveaway, you get twenty dollars to spend at her online shop. So here's the here's the deal. You have to go to her online shop. Take a look around. She just re refurbished her shop. It's really stinking cute. She has her little little icon with her picture there and her cat jam. Uh, <laughs> so cute. And so um, go take a look at her shop. And uh, to enter the giveaway, you all you need to do is come back and comment on our video with the name of something you saw in her shop that's on your stitchy wish list. Okay. Um, and also make sure you go and check out her Instagram and her floss mm -hmm. tube and obviously the shop um, because she's she's awesome. She's very fun. She designs her own patterns too. So those are on her shop. So take a look at those as well. Um, also, even if you don't win the giveaway, oh. we have a little something for everybody. Yes. She has given us a coupon code for you to receive 10% off of your purchase. And that coupon code is active now through the end of March, March 31st. And there's absolutely no limit on how many times you use the code. So the code is, are you ready for it? Yes. Stitchy Friends 10. Pretty, Pretty cool. Simple. Yeah. So. That's our first. Yeah. Name code. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you feel special? I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. It's a great deal though. I absolutely. Mean, yeah. Usually that's only for one item or mm -hmm. no. limited and so yeah you can buy yeah that's a fantastic deal especially with all the new market releases yes. and she's got a ton of them so yeah go over and use that code in her shop so that's our first giveaway go visit abby and the second one comes from a um relatively new designer mm -hmm. um i actually met her on instagram her name her name is krista but her instagram name is pixel Pixie X Stitch. 
and I will put all this information in the box below. Um, that's how you can find her on Instagram, Pixel Pixie X Stitch. And that's also the name of her shop on Etsy. And if you go to her Instagram, she has a link um, in her link tree to take you right to the shop. So um, Krista, like I said, is a relatively new designer. For right now, her designs are offered on uh, her Etsy shop as PDF downloads. She would kind of like to expand her business and start getting like paper charts and, and hopefully start putting her charts into shops, online shops, brick and mortar shops. And so we wanna get the word out and support her because we need all of our designers, Me too. right? Me too. We have such an eclectic and diverse community of designers and we just want to promote, you know, we want to promote that and, and share that with you guys, you know, because she might be new to you. So in order to enter this giveaway, and, and the thing you would win is a PDF chart of your choice from her shop, all you need to do is comment Pixie in the comments below. You can use it in a sentence or you can just type the word Pixie and that's spelled P-I-X-I-E. And make sure you go take a look at her Instagram. Go follow her. Show her your support. Go take a look at her Etsy. Favorite her shop. I do want to show you because I did, um, oh, shame on me. I thought I had this handy. Here it is. I did purchase one of her patterns. Now, her patterns are really funky and quirky, and that's why I love it because it's not, it's not the typical stuff you might see. And so this one's my favorite from her shop, and I think I believe it's her newest one. It's called hug your squid <laughs> and there's the pattern sorry for the glare it says have you hugged your therapy squid today i don't know if i'd want to hug a real squid but this one looks very cute and huggable he's got his little teddy bear and his little blankie and his little heart and he is just adorable so so super cute and fun there's her logo pixel pixie cross stitch but like i said on um on instagram it would be x stitch and on her shop. So there she is. Go take a look. She's got some fun patterns. She's She's got she another does. one called Love Deeply that she did as like an early Valentine's release. It's these two angler fish. I, those angler fish are the ones that like, like live way deep in the sea and they have the little lantern. Oh, right. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. yes. And it's the two angler fish like facing each other with their little lanterns, but the lanterns are replaced like with little hearts. Oh, and, cute. Um, she had a fun fact one. on her Instagram about it. She said that the female angler fishers, fish are the only ones with the lanterns. So it's actually two oh. female angler fish. So love deeply. Yes. So yeah, she's got some cute like seasonal cat patterns. I could go on and on. Go look at her stuff. So go check out Abby at Top Knot. Go check out Krista at Pixel Pixie X Stitch and enter our giveaway. So excited. Yeah. All right. You did good with that. It's very detailed and you did a good job. And I'll put all the details down below so you don't have to try to remember all of that. So we want to get into haul, but I think you had a couple things you wanted to show first before we get I into just, our market. And we're just doing yes. market haul today, but you had a couple yes. of other things you wanted to share, like birthday gifts and stuff. I did. I did. I got some really fun stuff for my birthday. Um, I also had this gal who contacted me on Instagram. Her name is Holly Neal, and she her Instagram, um, that's her name, I'm sorry, her Instagram account is hobbies of holly mm -hmm. i think that's right and so um i a couple floss tubes ago i talked about alice in wonderland and how much i liked alice in wonderland things and i have a pattern um that sarah actually got me for christmas which was literary alice by bendy stitches mm -hmm. and um she um found a pattern and and um let me know about it it was on a d stash site um, by the time I tried to go find it, I couldn't find it. So I just ended up ordering it because I loved it. So I just wanted to say thank you to Holly. And this is by, and Sarah's going to pronounce it for me. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Jardin Privé. Yes. And look, so it's in uh, like, a, like a globe. Yes. I've never seen that pattern before. I, I had never seen it either. So it was great when she uh, showed it to me. And so you got that like a, on a D-stash? No, actually, oh, I, I she ended saw up, it there. I did. Okay. I saw it. She saw it and let me know. And then I tried to find it on the D stash and I couldn't find it. It's probably it. gone already. It might have been. And so, but I love the pattern so much that I looked online on Etsy and bought it from um, this shop. Oh, the Jardin Privé. Yeah, Purvé. the Jardin Privé shop. And um, they also had another um, character, I think Beauty and the Beast, they had in a group. Really? Yeah, they had some really, I just, 
that was a design note that I had not. I um, love that white rabbit sitting on the top of the globe and the little Cheshire cat behind yeah. her legs. Sorry, I just had to like look at no, that No, I just thought it was so cute. So I was really, so cute. that was so nice of her to absolutely show me that. And, um, and again, I had not seen anything by that designer. I've never seen that yeah. pattern ever. So, um, so yeah, I haven't started it yet, but I, it's in my want to start soon pile. So, um, and then I got a couple other things. My, my, my best stitchy friend, Sarah, got me some really nice things. She got me this beautiful cake from Cervati's, which was delicious. And um, she got me a special project bag and some all kinds of other little goodies, needle minders. And then she got me this pattern, which I love. It's from Ink Circles. And I guess it's Rabbit, Rabbit, March. I don't know if there's a series of these. Yes, so okay. there's a monthly series. So, of course, I got you March because that's yes. when my birthday is. And it has all the bunnies. So cute. So cute. And I love all the colors. So I can't wait to start. I'm going to start this soon as well. And um, I think Kristen uh, from the Steel City Stitchers, she was stitching the Rabbit, oh. Rabbit February. And I, I think that oh. was her um March Madness one. Oh, I'll have to take a look. I, yes. I was it's a little so out of the loop on all that stuff. Yeah, so that was nice. And then um, it was so nice. I was not expecting gifts or anything on that stitchy time I had on my birthday. And um, But the ladies were super nice. So Allison and her mom, Kathy, um, brought some little goodies. Um, Allison brought me some um, cream. I usually use the... Um, what is that called? <laughs> I want to say moo. It's not moo. It's cow... Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I can't think of what it is. I used it forever. But this is different. This is Stitcher's Lotion. And it's by, um, I don't know who this is by. I think it's just Stitcher's Lotion. And so I'm excited to try this. Um, so that was really nice of her. Mm -hmm. And um, then, um, so Keepsakes had a big market um, like show and purchase day right after they got back from market. And they had these cute little scissors. They had all different kinds of scissors, and these have cats oh my gosh. on them. I know. I don't know how to. They have cats on them, but they had all kinds of them. They had frogs and so um, cute. books and um, USA and all kinds of fun things. Um, and then she got me some stickers. I'm really into stickers lately. Um, so Hands On Design did. I'm sorry, there's a bunch in here, but you've probably seen these. So they did the hoops for. Um, stitching and for quilting mm -hmm. and then she has a new one resting stitch face and yeah, don't say the other word <laughs> yes and no and then there's a new one resting no the resting stitch face is, is that the, the new, new one, one? Okay. the resting beach face was beach the old face. one right yeah. so those stickers are in that and then these are hands-on design stickers they're a little a little uh a little hard to see here they got ruined uh or not ruined but covered um yeah but this is the um Mm. Valentine's Day, um, yeah, the shoot, tiny village, tiny, yes, yeah. tiny, tiny house, tiny village. Um, and then this is the, there was a red bowl that was exclusive. Mm -hmm. They do those bowls, but this red one is, there's only going to be this red one and you had to order it. And, and so this is the design that goes in it and then some other patterns. So, so she knows I like stickers. So that was so nice. I of gave her. you stickers too. She, Sarah did give me stickers. She gave me lots <laughs> of stickers too. So that was good. And then, um, we were talking earlier about Kathy, and she is an amazing stitcher. And that's Allison's, uh, that's our Sorry, friend Allison's mom. Her mom, yes. And um, she's not on Instagram, which I wish she was. All right, come on, Kathy. It'd be wonderful to see all her stuff. So her she stitching did, is amazing. Yes, she did bring a little show and tell to my house. I, I, uh, we wanted, had, she had her own trunk show. She did, she did. So she has made all kinds of things. These are actually little, um, they're keychains, they're, um, not plastic. I don't know what you call acrylic. I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. And she stitched this. She had a bunch of them. She let me pick out which one I wanted. And this is a reversible stitch, so you can't tell the difference between the front and the back. No, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. And so it was really neat. She had about five or six of them. She let me pick the pattern that I wanted, and, um, and she gave it to you. Yes, and she was explaining how to do that. And um, but I just I've never heard of that. And um, so it was really neat that it was. I thought she had had to stitch it twice, but it's just one stitch. Yeah. Yeah, and then they gave me this cute little bag that you cut everything in. So very cute. Um, yeah, and then Kim was really nice and gave me a gift certificate to Keepsakes, um, which I have haven't you spent used. it yet. No, I have not. Which is like a miracle. We'll by that. I know. So um, no, I just had some really nice 
Um, it was just really nice for people to think of me and give me some of nice gifts. Yeah. Yeah, it always feels nice. Um, before does. we actually get to our market haul, there was one other thing we wanted to share. Yes. So, um, you know, we're not going to talk a whole lot about it, but of course, you know, you've probably, if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen several posts about different ways that you can support um, Ukrainian citizens. And um, one of the first ones I saw was um, from a designer. People were um, sharing about a designer in the Ukraine called Stitchy Princess on Instagram. She's Stitchy underscore princess underscore black. And I have ordered patterns from her before. Oh, I think sure. you have as well. Mm -hmm. But um, of course, right now she really needs the support, you know, with everything that's going on. So we bought a few patterns. And they're oh. all um, PDF downloads. Yes, PDF downloads. Yeah. And so this one is called Rabbit's House. So stinking cute with the little rabbits. So I love that one. We we just couldn't we couldn't uh, we couldn't say no. It was the patterns are adorable the patterns and are cute, obviously yeah. you have the benefit of helping somebody. So we got um, the fox. She's beautiful. We got of course this is really cute. I know I, <laughs> I already had this pattern, but it's adorable. I haven't stitched it yet. Yeah, we got Alice in Wonderland. There she is. She's falling. You got the Cheshire Cat smile down there. I love the um, white rabbit he's running. So cute. And then um, we got... This is really cute. I love this. And I've seen I several too. people stitch this. In different colors? Yes, in different yellow, colors. I and, have too. And I've seen several who just stitched like a part of the part yes. of it and made it into a small pillow. So yes. this one is called Rabbits, Carrots, Eggs. Look at those bunnies. So cute. I love this dude. He's relaxing. Very nice. So, yeah. So that's that's a small but uh, tangible way that you could support um, a Ukrainian designer. Yes. And of course, um, there's lots of other ways that you can support. I know at my school we're having a um, a Ukraine support day next week, so we oh, all nice. purchase T-shirts from oh, right. um, a local shop, and all of the proceeds go to um, UNICEF. So oh, nice. you know, there's Very all nice. different kinds of ways to. To support, you know, mm -hmm. it can be in the stitchy world, it can be other ways. So, you know, if you're so moved to do that, there's lots of different different ways you could yes. support the Ukrainian people. So. And I was just going to add, too, if you're on her Instagram, she has been um, doing updates just about what's happening in her town and around where she is. And, um, you know, the families are really getting together. I know she's been using some of the funds to help buy food and, and share that with other families. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, they're all helping each other. And so um, it's been very sobering um, reading her posts and what's going on. Um, but it's it's also another way just to hear from someone who's in that situation yeah. and what, what she's going through. So, mm -hmm. so, And I know there are other Ukrainian designers um, that we can support as well. A lot of people have been posting about that. So, you know, if that's something that you know, your move to do. There's, you know, so many people are posting different ways you can support the Ukrainian people. So reach out to the community and, and you know, if you're looking for those kind of opportunities, lots of people could point you in the right direction. Yeah. So, all right. Now, I know we're getting, we're moving. Way. I know. Sorry. We're going to move on to market hall. We're just going to show the charts we purchased. Quick, 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 quick. quick. And um, if that, if you're not interested in that, you won't miss anything if you leave us now. But if you want to see what we purchased, Let's do it. Are okay. you ready? I am. Do you want to start? I can start. Do it. I sure can. <laughs> okay, so. There were too many. I have for, quite a few. Good. I know, but I'm just going to go quick, quick, quick. Okay. okay. This is really cute. This is called Happiness is Homemade, and this is a um, cookbook, needle cookbook. What do they call it? Nashville Needlework Market Cookbook. And it's really cute. There are, on the back it lists, there's all kinds of different designers that are in here. And they put recipes in here. And then there's patterns in here. And oh I, gosh. yes, I can't remember how many patterns. I can't really flip through because I can't show the and patterns. And what was the price that you paid for you it? You know, it was $8.50. $8.50 $8 for a whole cookbook and yes. lots of patterns. Yes. Come and I, I can't even tell you. But Blue Flower is in here. And, I mean, there's hands-on design. There's so many, so many different different um designers in here and it's just fun because they have I like to cook and 
Um, so they have recipes in here, like their favorite recipes. I don't like to cook, but I do like to stitch. Yes. <laughs> Daisy's licking, licking my fingers. <laughs> um, this one, which has been very popular, a lot of people know about it, Keeper of the Pins. Uh, this is by Brenda Gervais. So this little booklet, you get all oh of these gosh. different patterns. Um, and I can't wait. I'm kind of into smalls and making making some things. Mm -hmm. um, I liked this one. This is Heart and Hand, and this is Hummingbird Sampler. Um, I thought that was really cute. Mm -hmm. This is Hands On Design, and this is um, a year of celebration, and she did season one, I guess, several years ago, which I did not purchase, but this is season two. And I did watch her uh, floss tube video, and she showed how she finished all these just on a board um, with a little bit of uh, rick rack. rack, yes, and then a bow. So um, anyway, Allison's gonna stitch this, so we're gonna we're gonna stitch it together. Um, this I liked. This was I didn't pre-order this, but I saw it after I put my pre-order in. So I was really glad Keepsakes had it. This is by the Scarlet House, and it's called Needfuls, and it's just all these little pillows. I just love that front one. I love the sewing machine yeah. and the scissors, and of course the tomato pin cushion. Yes. I just thought it was really cute. I like all the different designs. Um, and you all know I love uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. I ordered all their new patterns, although I forgot to bring one. Um, this is a friendship series. There are four other patterns in this series, and I do have them. Mm -hmm. Or three other patterns, I'm sorry. Right, squirrels. the bunnies, the cats, and the squirrels. Yes, and so um, this is... I believe the last one, Stitching Birds. And I just love the so, colors. I love those colors. I love the colors. So, Very cute. Um, yeah, so I got that one. Um, she also is starting a new series called Mousecapades. And she came out with one and two. Sorry about that. Um, and I just noticed on her site that she has some kits that she's selling. So you can oh. buy, like, if you wanted to buy a kit with all the um, fancy fibers, like mm. Style Works fibers. She has deal. that. I don't know if they're still on there. I saw that a couple of days ago. Um, and um, so this was cute. This is Mice on Ice, which is the first one. I like these cutesy ones. And then this is number two that was released. I love that one. Yes. And this is on the housetop. And I thought that was so cute too. So I, I got love those. Animals wearing clothes. I just <laughs> um, I got another Kathy Barrick design, which is Spring Pin Drum. Um, I saw her her YouTube with Liz, and um, I, the the this doesn't do it justice. The vibrancy of the colors I just thought were gorgeous, and I've never done a pin drum, so I picked this. And I have the Autumn Pin Drum. You do, mm -hmm. you do. Um, and these I absolutely loved they're so cute i know you i have dogs and or a dog and three cats and i thought these were so cute this is summer house <laughs> stitch works and this that's is that's an appropriate jen ah. oh <laughs> just kidding this is katherine kitty i think it's katherine kitty yes katherine mm -hmm. kitty and it's so cute because it's a front and a back it's the hello and, and inside, goodbye series the hello and goodbye series yes and then they have personal puppy and I could not so decide handsome. which I wanted, so I had to get both. I thought they were adorable. Very Absolutely cute. adorable. Very cute. Yes. And then this is a big, uh, a big, a big book. Um, this was this was expensive, but there are twelve. I can't remember. Don't quote me. This is by Blackbird Design, and um, this is it's a beautiful. Even if you didn't stitch this, it's a beautiful book. There's oh lots my gosh. of lots of things written and. You know, ironically, this piece, this big piece at the bottom, um, our our local LNS shop owner Barbara um, stitched this and framed it. And this is before this book came out because this is a combination, I guess, of other older patterns. And so, so she has a display of this in the shop, and it's she absolutely got a little closer because those are all different sorry. pieces of fabric. Yes. that are is like, that stitched together. Isn't that amazing? That's it's beautiful. That stunning. It's beautiful. And, you know, these pieces just have so much detail. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see these hearts up here. There's so many different patterns. I hope I'm showing that one. Yeah. Um, and here's another one on the back. Um, but there are a lot of patterns in this book. So um, you do you can't buy it individually. You do have to buy the it's book. It's well worth the money, though. It is. And I and the book is just the pages are really nice. I, I like books. Mm -hmm. I like to, you know, read read all the things about it. So um, it's a beautiful book. And then this um, is also a book. There's four patterns in this. 
This is the Seasons of the Heart, and this is by, um, let me, who is this by? Oh, Brenda Gervais, I'm sorry. So you can see, here, I'll try to do that. There's a spring pillow, which I'm anxious to start, and there's a summer. It's got the flag up there. Yes, and then there's the autumn. I love the owl and the moon. Oh, I know, isn't that cute? <laughs> and then the winter. The little cardinal on top of the tree. So, and the little berries, I love it. The little yes. So I just thought these were so cute. So this is a booklet too. And um, I thought they were so cute. And then lastly, um, this was in Punch Needle and Primitive Magazine, but it was it was in the spring. Last spring, yeah. Yeah, 2001. 21. 21, thank you. Um, magazine, but it is released to the public at this market. Mm -hmm. um, but I really liked it. It's blue flower. You know, Sarah and I love the blue flower. And this one is um, part of the Seasons of the Heart series, and it's spring. So I don't know if you can... Yes. Sarah, is that... Yes, so there's the bunnies. Like, I know. Isn't that so cute? Pull it back just a little bit. There you go. That is this a bunny down here, too? I think so. Yes. All the bunnies everywhere. Very cute. I just thought it was so cute. Mm -hmm. So, so much I, detail on that little pillow. Yeah, so you can buy this pattern now, um, but it was only exclusive in the in the Punch Needle magazine. And I think you all know if you buy that um, the paper prescription for a year, you get all the other prescriptions. Um, <laughs> Daisy's like crawling over here. Yeah, sorry, Daisy's She's always so in my lap. That's okay. <laughs> um, I didn't want to smush her. Um, Don't smush that you the can Daisy. get them on print or on. Um, Digital. Download yeah, them yeah. Digital if you have, if you get them all. Yeah. yeah, if you get the print subscription, you get all yeah. the all the back issues, which yes. is a really great deal. Great deal. All right, so here's my haul. It's a little bit smaller. I tried to contain myself, um, but after seeing some of those, I'm having some FOMO. Anyway, mm -hmm. same same for me with Sarah's. So this one was my absolute favorite. I had to have this one as soon as I saw it. I'm getting kisses here. Thank you. <laughs> uh, of course, it's the blue flower because, hello, look at this. It's called Moggy Manor. And I believe it was um, stitched in memory of her kitty, Moggy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So, you know, having stitched something recently in memory of my puppy, you know, I understand yeah. the significance of that. But... Ah, uh, just all, oh, look at all the kitties and it's the birdies beautiful. and all of the colors and the saying is beautiful and that little yellow house and the little fishes. I can't stand it in a good way. It's really cute. It's gorgeous. I know. It's huge. It is huge. But it's beautiful. So yes, I need to stitch that immediately. That was my absolute favorite. I had, if I got nothing else, I had to have that. So I got Moggy Manor. And then I got... Had these to are have, cute. I love these. I yes. ordered all of these, too. Had to have Liz Matthews Berry Patch. So stinking cute. So cute. Yes. Little bunny, little bee, beehive, bee skep, I think that's what it's called. So I got this oh, one from Keepsakes. Oh, you can show it next. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this one from Keepsakes. I did I did kind of get some things from Keepsakes, and I got some things from uh, Abby over at Top Knot, so I got that from Abby. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> so cute. Leela's studio. It's spring parade. All these bunnies in their little uh, cars. I love so it. Cute. I think I love the strawberry the most, but the artichoke is pretty awesome too. So this is actually set too. There's another set um, of spring parade bunnies. Um, and that one, I think I'm going to need that one too. I only got set two gonna need set one so i love it super cute i love it um okay oh <laughs> i love this one and not to spoiler alert you didn't see the episode yet but steph and pam in their video they gave the top 10 was it one of the top 10s I can't remember if it was the number two or number one, but oh, it was up there. So I like I like when they do that. Yes. This oh. is the day. Plum Street Samplers. That pink house. I have to stitch it. And you can't really see it, but there's like a goat jumping over the flowers there. He's too cute. So cute. That pink house is phenomenal. And you know, I was at Keepsakes and um Barbara and um, Steph went to market and they saw this. We were all talking about this pattern and they said it's very pink, but it's beautiful. 
So if you like saw the call for it, yeah, yes. they said it's very pink. And I like pink too. Um, oh, there's two more goats over here. They said it was They're hard beautiful. to see, but they're stacked on top of each other and the bird's standing on them. So I love it's really that. Really cute. Very cute. Yeah, uh, in the in uh, Pam and Steph's video, they were talking about like after they came back from market and how like busy they were and how busy the shop was the day and two after um, after market, but with all the uh, local stitchers coming in. Yeah, I know. And Kim, and you Allison, know, I know. And Kathy, I was the only one of our group that was not there. <laughs> so I showed. I know I showed up because um, they opened at eleven on Monday, the day after market and I showed up and Kim showed up and then Allison's mom and Kathy, you all didn't was there. plan it no we didn't and so we were all like oh and um well I ended up going back and Kim I think Kim Kim went one less day than I did um I think I went four times that week um and they're only open five days a week <laughs> <laughs> so if your market order is late <laughs> They had a great display of stuff. <laughs> well, you know, the first day you couldn't pick up your pre-orders. So right. I had to go back the next day to get my pre-orders. And then she I bought the wrong fabric. And <laughs> so then I had to go back because I wanted to start the bird in a cherry tree for my birthday. I had to go back and get the silver fox fabric. Hello. And I know. Now I yes. just kept finding more things. But... I've got one final, um, one final pattern. It is called Spring Awakens by... Summer House Stitchworks. I do have the winter pattern called Winter Cometh. Kind of the same deal where you have like the different um, the different columns of color. And at Keepsakes, they do a um, Belsois conversion. Mm -hmm. And so I have the Belsois conversion for the Winter Cometh, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Barb to um, create the conversion for this one I I asked her about it I know I thought Susan created it maybe um, it was Susan who does the what is her oh um cross stitch fancies x stitch fancies yes, x stitch maybe fancies. it's her yeah she makes bags mm -hmm. um x stitch fancies and she did the um Belswa conversion yes I can't wait to stitch that I, I love the I love the um variants of color in that but I've never seen a pattern with that type of coloring so I'm excited for that so yeah I'll just show that. I can't yes, remember if I showed I this last show time. Anything. No, we we just got it. Okay, so yeah, yeah so um, we got this a little bit early. We ordered it from Lindy Stitches website, the Spring Scrapbook Series. So she did a collaboration with the Blue Flower, um, similar to the um, Saltwater um, scrapbook, scrapbook that they series. did in the summer. Yeah, so um, Lindy Stitches uh, designed these five patterns and the blue flower designed these four sorry for the glare it's wacky looking it's um, a spring forest scrapbook spring forest yes and so uh you can stitch them all as one piece like that i don't want to give away all the information or and I you think can there's like a border on online that you can download or something if you want to do them all on one piece oh i don't know i don't see a border on this one. Oh well maybe not maybe i'm wrong don't quote us on that yes i might be confusing that <laughs> or you can stitch them as little small pillows. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I have a dough bowl that's empty. Well, <laughs> it's got, it's got fake carrots in it and fake eggs. I want pillows in it. So, and we ordered, um, we ordered the little kit, uh, from Lindy stitches. stitches. It came with a beautiful bag from the 805 stitcher with, so cute. with all of these cute little, um, music playing animals that bear with the drum is fantastic. There's the inside. Uh, mine had a little flute charm, and I was opening my bag too roughly, and oh. it came off. It's in here. I'll just put it back on. Okay. It's in there. And uh, it just came with these cute little floss so straps that had pictures. That has pictures of the yeah. pattern, and it came with a little set of the fancy flosses that you need to go with it. So there's that. That's my market haul. You had and one I forgot, more thing to share. I was going to just show. So I love Liz Matthews, and I love all her designs that she um, created for um market and she also did um she did floss drops and she did um stickers so um the floss drop i'm just going to show this because sarah and i didn't show this pattern this is um parade of elephants yes and it is the um oh her and her mom are doing a series and i cannot think of what the name of it is but liz made floss drops for all of collective her. nouns thank you thank you collective nouns um so liz has the parade of elephants and her mom has 
an owl. A party of peacocks and a parliament of owls. I knew you would remember those. Um, I remember some things. So they are not um, cut or they are not punched. So you can punch holes where you want. But she uses these. She wraps her floss around it. And there's little. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, she made little slits. Um, I don't know. And that way you're not punching holes in the in the. Yes, Design. and she wraps her, her floss around this way and then just tucks it in the slit. And there's a little spot on the back where you can write. Write what you, what you want. So, yeah. of course, I had to have all of them, so I bought all of the different designs. We didn't show this one. I won't take them all out because I know this is long. But um, this was, um, shoot, I can't remember what this is, but this is a beautiful pattern. I got this pattern. I ordered a bunch of stuff after market, of course. And um, then this is the school pink schoolhouse I think design um anyways I bought all of those and then she also did stickers so you could buy a sticker set and the sticker set is one comes with one of each so one of the um one page for one pattern so this is so cute um she's really into stickers I don't know if you know she has like another Instagram and she does memory planning and um so um this has uh, it'll have like new start, start. So this is Quaker Garden. I have Quaker Snowflakes that I'm working on, but this is kind of similar. Um, and then she'll have a finish sticker. Um, these are a little different. You don't peel them off. You, you actually cut them out yourself, however you want to cut them. So she has one for each of her designs. So Quaker, um, Garden. Garden, thank you. And then this one. That's the sixth in, uh, installment of the Days of Christmas. Yes. The so this was another one of her releases. And then here we just talked about the berry patch. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. I love that big bunny and the honeycomb. It's so cute. And then this is um, Pink. Pink School House. Pink Cottage School. Pink Cottage School, sorry. So cute. Which I, I love. I love the Pink House. Yes. <laughs> Good sample. And then here's the Parade of Elephants. So. so cute. I just wanted to show those really quick because I forgot to show those. And they were fun. I loved how designers came out with like stickers this year. And, you know, the floss drops, I'm all into that little stuff. So yes. that was really fun. Before we go, just yes. because we can't help ourselves, we have some project bags to show oh, you. okay. We'll show them super fast really and then we'll go because this is a really long video. I know, this Sorry. is like the longest video Sorry. ever. Maybe like watch half and then take a break and come watch. But yeah. by the time I'm saying this, you'll have watched the whole thing. Anyways, moving on. So these are from our favorite place, Painted Leaf. Painted Leaf Co. That's my mom and my sister's Etsy shop. They make beautiful project bags. They sell plants. They sell original art prints. Um, so this one was, um, now I never, I think it was like funky mushroom or something. I never remember the name of the bags, but, uh, this was one my sister made. Um, I have the matching notions pouch inside. I love the inside. Yes. Material. Yes. Really fun. They do a really great job of matching the inside they to do. the outside. Look at those funky mushrooms. And then of course they always have the cute little leather, um, zipper pull and of the little charm. There's a little mushroom and a little made with love. So Painted Leaf Co. That's a cute bag. Yeah, and so this is the medium size and the Notions is inside. Um, they also have a really cool large I size bag large. that has a yeah. handle. It's so big I can't even show it to you. Look at that. It's got the handle. So <laughs> even Daisy wants buttons. to see. So got the, um, you've got the matching Notions bag. Look at the back. This one, I do remember this one. It's called Milk Drunk because these cats are drunk on milk. It's so cute. So cute. And um, I <laughs> love the little charms. Hold on. Let me move the little. Oh, my gosh. These charms oh are my gosh. so cute. I don't even know where they got them, but They're come on. Oh, wait. Can you see over. it? Yep. There you go. Look at it, cats. Mine, this one has a white one, and the one inside has a little gray striped cat. I don't even know if you can see it. And they're flat on the back. They yes. They look like they, they yeah. go all the way around, but they're flat, so they lay nicely on the back. But they're adorable. Yep, yeah, so there's that. Uh, I also got the... Um, What's this a new one? You got yes. it Yes. Yeah, well, I, I have connections, so. I, Yeah, I'm still waiting on mine. <laughs> I know it's coming. It's worth the wait, right? It is, it so is. So this was um, the Woodland one she did. It's got the handle. I love the, the zipper color. I got the matching matching notions bag and the thread keep. Yeah. Um, it's so pretty. Love it's all the animals, pretty. the fox, the badger, the raccoon, all of it. So it's super cute. And and they also have this um, these buttons they put on here, and the buttons say "handmade with love." Oh, I didn't know that. I Just my buttons surprise. say that. Yeah. 
just like oh, the little hearts charm on here yeah. all says made with love so just know that when you get a bag from my mom and sister shop they're making it with love they are they do they make they make beautiful bags um, can I show my painted leaf bag first yes. real quick? Okay, yes. so I have, um, I'm waiting on a couple of that Sarah already showed, but I got this one that Sarah didn't get, and I don't remember what it's called. It was... I think it was Earth Love? I think you're right. So I'm sorry, I was didn't take things out of it and, and the project thing on there. Um, but I thought it was so cute. I love the inside. And this is and it's really... Quilted. Yes, and yeah, it's she's been so, quilting them lately. Which I really like. It's so padded, and it's a really nice bag. Again, I got the large one. And I got the um, I got the notions pouch, and um, and um, and the thread the keeper. Thread keeper thank mm -hmm. you. And then this this is cute. This has a nice. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not the shower here. I'm there you go. Yeah. It. Yeah. A so leaf. it has a leaf, and then the um, the leather. Pool. Thank you. Yeah. So um, their color matching is just it's really amazing yes yes and i like because they always do fun stuff in the inside i know you put your project in there but you can still see the inside yeah. and i like that i don't like when it's just plain and doesn't have anything on it so yes. i like when they have that so do you want to show that top one first and then we'll show the other one yes since they're the same design um so this is uh one of the I think we, didn't we show that before because we told the story about how mine was delivered to your house okay maybe we did <laughs> sorry anyway but we we're getting, we're getting uh, more bags with this fabric from Painted Leaf Co. We'll show that to you, you next know, time. You know, I I know they they're sold out, but if you really want more, I don't know, maybe maybe Kathy you can convince Megan, them. Yes, could get shoot more. them a so, message. Painted Leaf Co. on Instagram. Yes, or leave a message in the in the comment thing. We might be able to pull some strings. Yeah. Okay. You want to do the other ones? Yes. You so do I that one first. Yes. Did so we have the, the same one. Yeah, but did you, this so. Oh, Did I didn't bring, bring that downstairs. Okay, no. That's okay. You can use that one. Okay. So um, another favorite shop of ours is the Brass Button. Hi, Jennifer. I know. She's awesome, mm. too. And her bags go quickly, too. Like that. <laughs> uh, yes. So again, if you like a bag with a handle, Jennifer's got you covered. This was, so every month she does like a bag of the month. Um, and so this was the March bag of the month. I love to read. It's got books, bookshelves. I'll show you the back so you look at that. All the little plants on the shelves and the books. So stinking cute. But every time she does a bag of the month, it comes with the notions pouch and you get and oh, you get a thread keep. Uh huh. And it's all like a coordinating yeah, series a coordinating of fabric. theme. Yeah, because you can see the notions pouch has books on it too. Yeah. And this has like book spines on it. So cute. And then she always gives you a fun surprise nice. extra and so you never know what that extra item is going to be this time so cute it was a little, so a little like key fob chapstick holder yeah, she put the chapstick in there too. and she gave you chapstick with it come on so if you're anything like me i have a chapstick in every room every place in my house every mm -hmm. place that i'm ever at so this is a cute one to grab it's on the really go cute. so very cool. So that's my brass button. You've got a few more brass buttons to yeah, show. Yeah, I, I got the, the bag of the month, too. And then I got this one, which is, oh, I love it. It's so cute. It is Captain Hook. Is that Peter adorable? Pan. Or Peter Pan. Well, Captain, well, Hook, Captain and Peter Hook, Pan right. and Wendy and all, all of things. Right. So I fell in love with it. I thought it was so adorable. And I got the, um, I got the, um, sorry, I have stuff in there, but I got the notions. Thank you. I'm losing my thing. And it has the handle. Um, so I love that. I also got this. I love this bag. This, I don't know why I'm into all these Disney things, but this is Cinderella. Look so at beautiful. That. Look at the little, little mouse. <laughs> I know. It is. And the blue is it's a bright, beautiful blue. I love That's your favorite color. I it? love it. Is, it is. I love that turquoise color. And then I got the, um, sorry, I didn't take my stuff out of it, but I got the Notions bag too. So, and she, and, and, you know, actually I will say she does not sell these notion bags. Um, I ask her to make them and she, if she has fabric, she will, she's 
very, very nice about it. Um, I don't put any pressure of when I get it, just whenever she can do it. We always figure we ask, and the worst she can say is no, right? Right. So I don't want to start a stampede with everybody no, asking her. No, that's not an expectation. No, but... no. Um, but I just, she has been nice and has been able to do that occasionally with some of the bags that we've gotten. But she does include it with the bag of the month. That is yes. part of the yes. set of the bag of the month. Yeah. So Kind of um, like a, a special thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah you get all those things together so so yeah so Ooh, that's, are we done i know gosh i'm so sorry that was so long Yikes. so hopefully you've been doing some stitching or having a nice beverage or whatever because you've had plenty of time so hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully it wasn't too long and rambly that's kind of what happens when we haven't yeah. filmed in a while so we're really we talked about this earlier we're going to try to sit down and like kind of form a, a schedule because it's just been really hard um you know she's a busy mom i'm a busy teacher just less going on so we... sure so we just need to make it a priority and put it on our calendars so that we can see you guys more often yeah. and that way our videos aren't ten thousand yes. years long yes they won't be this long again don't right worry. right so. so thank you so much for sticking with us don't forget to enter the giveaway do not say the words giveaway or win or anything like that in the comments and you have to make sure you're 18 or older right yes um so I guess, yeah. Oh, well, even though yeah, it's email, but let's to, just, right. just to be on the safe side. Yeah. So yeah. So go visit topnotstitcher.com. Go visit our friend Krista over at Pixel Pixie X Stitch on Instagram and Etsy. And, um, and also just uh, a reminder that since I'm a Black Needle Society representative, you can also use my code for um, a $5 yes. discount, not a 5% percent discount. <laughs> discount don't give me a trouble give a little joke with that yeah but... we're not gonna say it no. <laughs> a five percent discount on a vault purchase so items that are in their vault so and that code is stitchy sarah five the code for top knot was stitchy friends 10 all the information's down below if we forgot to put something in the description box that you want to know make sure that you um Put a comment down below. Also, don't forget if you're or if you're entering for the Pixel pitch, Pixie. Goodness gracious! Comment below with the Pixel, word Pixie. Pixel Pixie X Stitch. Yes. So anyway, Pen. that's a lot of stuff. Uh, please leave us a comment, preferably a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's not nice, maybe just message us personally. But uh, you know, we love you guys. We are so thankful for this community and all of the friends we've made and you know we love you guys for watching and we and we love our friendships that we're making through here as well so have a fantastic week month hopefully it won't be a month before we see you yeah, happy stitching yes and uh and let us know what you what you got at market too we're yes. curious yes <laughs> okay are we done we're done okay. we're done all right all right thank you bye guys bye.